All right, Johnny Flynn with us now. And, uh, Johnny, what do you think you bring to the table here? You know, I bring leadership qualities, you know, just point guard qualities, you know, whatever I have to do out there, you know, to make us better. If that's you know, taking the charge, you know, getting assists, knocking down an open three, whatever I could do to contribute to this team. You are not the biggest guy, but not a shrimp either. Looks like in the very little bit I've seen you guys run out here that you have an ability to kind of get into tight spaces and dribble the ball in traffic and get the ball moving up the floor. You know, being a little guy, you have to be able to do that. If you're little, you can't squeeze through tight tight spaces and, you know, push the ball up the floor, you're not going to be playing, you know. So uh, hopefully I can show that on the court, you know, today and for the next practices to come and get some playing time. I know being an upstate guy and Paul's buddy, you've you followed this team for the last two, three, four years, right? What do you make of just the complete switch in three or four competitors out and four or five new guys in, this is going to change the complexion of the team. You know, it's going to be real tough, you know, losing, you know, D-Nick, uh, Terrence Roberts, and, uh, you know, Mookie, and, and unfortunately Andy this past summer, you know, with the knee injury, you know, it's going to be hard to get a new look of the team, you know, but, you know, uh, the freshman class coming in has great chemistry, you know, when we've been playing on the court, you know, it seems like we've been clicking on all cylinders, everybody on the team, you know, so, uh, you know, and Josh Wright been helping us uh, coast through the things, me and Scoop teaching us things, Eric Devenor's teaching us things, so, you know, it's going to be great. feels like there's a personality of a lot of slashing here, you Eric, Scoop, is that a uh, part of the game you feel comfortable with? Yeah, I think I think that's what we're going to do. This year's team is more of a running team. You know, we don't have the height like we did last year, the big buys that we did last year. But, you know, we can get up and down the floor. You got Dante Green, you got Kristoff, you know, a lot of runners that can just run. So uh, hopefully we're pushing the tempo this year. What's your relationship with Paul Harris, and where do you see him going year one to year two? You know, uh, Paul Harris, he, he really improved. You know, that's why I can't wait till people really get to see him. You know, he improved his jump shot, you know, 100%, I have to say. You know, he's making wide open jump shots. I don't think people can play him in the paint anymore like they used to. But, you know, uh, you know, he's really got better. He's been working hard, and, you know, he's been bringing me in the gym with him, too. Dante uh, told us, it's evident, how much you guys get along. And how much easier does that make it in terms of the learning curve you're about to go through? You know, it makes it a whole lot easier. You know, if, if you don't have chemistry with somebody, there's no way you can play on the court with them, you know. But uh, we hang out with each other off and on the court, so it makes it that much easier. And lastly, as you guys go into this season, do you get the feeling that, hey, we're newcomers, we can make an impact, and that people didn't sign up to go to the NIT, right? I mean, you're looking yeah. to, to kind of change things right away. You know, we're right. you're right. You're absolutely right. You know, we're not looking to go to the NIT. You know, we're looking to go to the NCAA tournament and deep into the tournament. You know, that's how much confidence we have over this team this year, you know. So hopefully, you know, we just keep working hard and practice, and our goal will be accomplished at the end of the year.